Now, I'm going to start from the beginning, okay? I feel like DJ Sky really felt bad. Because you can tell she had a lot of care when it came to Smiley. So, I think she really felt bad. Couldn't tell if it was fake or not. So, she was just going on the assumption that it was real. So, that's why she was trying to tell them to stay positive. But them faking and trying to stay positive after talking all that shit about her was hilarious. Cause it was like that for me like i i honestly couldn't tell i've never been around somebody with seizures so i don't know how it looks now for her to pop up at the hospital well aware all of a sudden chill talking about some take me out of here take me home and you ain't want to get checked you ain't want to find out what was happening that's odd now even though natalie has been on television for over 15 years 14 years whatever she was screaming you still need a storyline to stay on that show so I agree with Scotty. She did want us to just start some mess. Because let's be for real. She mad that Scotty got her food first before her. That sounds very realistic. Because Natalie is very entitled. She think it's her show. But they already showed her with Krishan. It's not her show. It's Zeus Network. That's why she was like, I will leave. I will leave. Yeah, because you have no demands on this show for real. And the fact that Scotty is supposed to be your friend, which we saw last season... You shouldn't talk to your friend like that. And you definitely shouldn't put your hands on your friend like that. It's like you was trying to do your big one on her. And that's supposed to be your best friend. Like you was really trying to go in on her. And Scotty, for the life of me, I don't understand why she does this light fight back. Like she don't go all the way in. But she's like, all right, you're not finna, you know, be in my face. I'm going to still fight back. But I don't see why she don't give Natalie that energy. Friend or not, your friend shouldn't be talking to you like that, period. And that episode really showed me how tired Scotty is starting to get of Natalie. But I feel like Scotty need Natalie for her funds and her show. She getting her bag up right now, so she's kind of just tolerating certain things. I'm going to finish with Smiley and move on to the rest. Her exit of, I think this is going to open more door for me, that's hilarious. Now, although I do wish further success of Smiley, let's be for real. People watching this show... I don't understand what you think they're going to get out of it other than acting. Maybe that was her goal all along, to use this show to show her acting skills. I don't know. But for her to say she want to show a woman empowerment when you can't even speak up for yourself, I don't see that happening. But I do wish her best of luck. Sapphire. Sapphire. I really thought that Suki was your friend for real. I didn't know y'all was just cool. Because ain't no way Roly stood up for E.T. So that was your time to shine. Just like Suki, who did she sneak? Smiley. She snuck somebody while you was fighting somebody. Where were you at? And E.T. was doing all that yelling from the back. Now, once did she move forward? Because she knew. But let's continue. And I agree with Suki when she was telling Natalie, y'all bullying her. At this point, y'all is. Now, the first time that whole situation happened, I feel like it was warranted because she had all that energy online. So that was your time to show what the energy was. Now that y'all see she wasn't on nothing, like Tashiki said, she's very fragile. For y'all to be doing all of that, Natalie talking about some, now nah, come back in here. You just wanted somebody to pick on to bully on. And Suki was right. And you peep out Natalie trying to be her friend. Come on, so why? Why you ain't messing with us? Why you ain't? Now you trying to have a conversation because you scared. You scared, but you was just up in Scotty's face. Like, I, I do not like that. And I feel like Roly was low-key been ready to fight Suki. So that's why she jumped up in the first place. Because normally E.T. handled her battles and Roly just talk her mess from the back. But this time she actually stood up in front of her. So I feel like she really just wanted to fight her. And we couldn't even really see the fight because, of course, they prolonging the shit. But y'all, I'll see y'all next week. What y'all think of this episode? And make sure y'all follow my YouTube, Dark Skin Queen 2.0, where I post three to four videos a day, y'all. Let's get it.